Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honest to our apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm going to get into Baruch, the fifth chapter, starting at the first verse, and I'm going to read. You know, three, four verses or so, uh, and three to four verses, and uh, I may may just uh, read out the whole uh, chapter because it's a short chapter. May just go ahead and read the uh, the whole chapter, okay? So this is Baruch five and one. It says, "Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of thy mourning and affliction." <clears throat> and why? Uh, well, first off, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. In the Hebrew, the word uh, Jerusalem is pronounced Yerushalayim, city of peace, which means city of peace. Okay? And Jerusalem is referring to the so-called Negroes, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true Israelites according to the Bible. Okay? And not uh not all the more well, I say this the most high is not dealing with all Israel not right now. He's only dealing with the elect. So really what we're about to read is um uh, is dealing with the elect because they're gonna do this. They're gonna put off the uh the garment or in other words the covering the the energy, the vibration of um mourning and affliction. Okay, you know, we're still under the curses. We're walking around and uh, floating around the world. Depressed, stressed, okay, mourning. Everybody's uh, going through some type of different problems. And I'm talking about our people because we catching it the worst. Um, we catching the most hell in the earth right now. Because we're under, we're the Israelites, we're still under the curses. Okay, but for us in the know, that are awake to this knowledge, we know that this condition is about to be over with, this captivity. Because we are yet this day, as the scriptures say, in our captivity. <clears throat> okay? So it says, put off. So we are not supposed to be in the state of walking around here mad big ball of angry now we do get upset and we get pissed off from you know being around this all these different abominations living in this society you know and hearing what you hear seeing what you see smelling what you smell you know it piss you off but ultimately you know we don't walk around with our face all twisted up or uh, in that woe is me spirit, oh, I'm so down, life is so bad, moping around, the, around, you know. It's, so the scripture, going back to this verse, it says, put off, O Jerusalem, it's talking about Israel, the garment of thy mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness, which means beauty, beautifulness, of the glory that cometh from the most high forever now watch this it says cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness so that's that um garment that that calmly calmliness okay that we putting on where it says uh and put on the calmliness of the glory that coming from yahweh by shim yahweh shai forever which is um righteousness <coughs> which is um the king you know us getting the uh the kingdom and receiving the new covenant which the new covenant is us being turned uh righteous absolutely righteous not only righteous not righteous through our faith in you know uh in Yahweh Shai, but our uh, righteousness by being able to walk perfect before the most high on this earth. That's the new covenant. 
Okay. And knowing that we're going to, uh, I'm going to say this too, and we're going to receive all the blessings um, that, we were that we we're supposed to receive if we kept the law, statutes, and commandments perfect. <clears throat> and we're going to get that. And, and, uh, and much more beyond what our mind can fathom. You know? It says, Yeah, cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and set a diadem on thine head of the glory of the everlasting. Yeah, because I got a precept. We're supposed to, we're supposed to, ultimately, we're supposed to be rejoicing. We're living in the greatest time in history. The time where our Lord is going to come back and uh, devastate the world. <coughs> the ones who the, uh, the, the, the one who the earth ignorantly uh, know is Jesus. His true name is Jehoshaphat. Okay? What he's coming to do is going to be something that's never been seen on this planet earth. It's going to be the grand finale of the uh, scriptures. As far as, you know, the most intense, exciting thing that we read about in the, in the, in the scriptures, okay? Most horrific, most glorious event, you know? And we're supposed to rejoice because that means the kingdom is, is going to be established and righteousness will saturate this planet earth. And we'll be perfect. We'll walk perfect before the Most High, uh, enjoying life, having fun. Every day is going to be a, a, a thrill, you know? Now, I'm going to bring this out. This is because um, it said put on the garment of uh, calmliness. And uh, we, it all starts with this knowledge. I can't forget that. Let me back up. It starts with this knowledge. Us having this, the, the understanding of the scriptures okay lets us know the end game and that we're not going to be down here or uh, uh in this in these hellish conditions forever this matthew chapter 5 and verse 12 it says rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you the point is you go and read the you know, read you really matthew the fifth chapter very good chapter to read i just want to get that part where it says rejoice and uh we're going in when men persecute you and revile you you supposed to uh rejoice well this truth is frowned upon um uh, it's disgusting to everybody the majority only the remnant that's come back and hopes to be delivered um see the beauty okay see the uh, the glory in this truth so you still can apply this scripture you know uh we're supposed to be rejoicing because really the world is against us and uh be exceeding glad for great is our reward in heaven all right yeah when the kingdom is set up <coughs> So we put, we're not supposed to be um, around here like two thirds of our people. You know, they have they go out and have a wicked good time. Uh, the chances they get, but ultimately they they walk in uh, misery, especially the, the women, the so-called black woman leading the charge in that. I'm going to go back to Baruch 5 and 3. It says, For the Most High, Yahweh, or Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. Right, like it says also in Matthew, um, the fifth chapter, where Yahweh Shai told the twelve to let your lights uh, shine before the, before the world. It says, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to bring it out. It says, Matthew 5 and 14. 
It says, ye are the light of the world. And this world is really talking about Israel because the Greek word here is cosmos. It says, but the whole world is seeing this truth being cast throughout the planet through via the internet, mainly the YouTube. They're seeing this knowledge uh, go abroad, whether they hear or forbear. It says, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the, your Father which is in heaven. So let's go back to Baruch. Verse 3 again, it says, For Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. That's happening. Ultimately, it's going to happen uh, in the kingdom. You know, ultimately, we're going to we're going to shine. You know, we're going to be the stars of the kingdom, in other words. You know, but it's starting right in, It starts right now uh, with this knowledge. Us having this knowledge. Well, because we're we're preparing ourselves to rule this king, this this planet Earth. That's the that's the kingdom, us ruling in righteousness, the Israelites. It says, "For thy name shall be called of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai forever, the peace of righteousness and glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai." Worship. It says, Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high. And look about towards the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west. You know what? That's the that's that is very uh edifying the rest of this chapter. Good good reading, but I'm gonna stop right there. Uh, this is a lot to you know, really in this small amount. Uh, small amount left in the chapter is saying a lot it's a lot it's a lot in there you can get uh different precepts or scriptures okay the main thing i want to get into was basically us rejoicing and i know i said i was gonna uh, read the whole chapter because it was short but um i'm gonna I'm I'm stop it right here but yeah like i was saying the, the point is that we should be yeah be glad and rejoicing that this shit is about to be over with yes more hell is to come the time of draco's trouble is to come the hour of temptation is to come but fuck it you know it's written we gotta we gotta uh go through it you know and make your how about some y'all shall be with us us um until the end you know until you know, until the until in, until the kingdom comes, shit, rejoice, rejoice in the uh, in the hill. You know, because that's what this is what it's gonna take. You must go through it to receive it. You know, so Lord willing, this video was edifying, and until the next one, I say shalom.